Why is the Statue of Liberty Green? by Martha E. H. Rested, illustrated by Holly Conger. Vocabulary Ferry Ferry is a boat that takes people or vehicles across a river or waterway. Monument Monument is a large statue or building that honors an important person or event in history. Torch A torch is a long stick with a flame at one end that may be used for light or to start a fire. Inspired Inspired is an idea or action that made you want to do something. Sculptor Sculptor is an artist who uses stone, wood, or metal to make a work of art. A visit to the Statue of Liberty. Our class is going on a field trip. Mrs. Bolt makes us guess where. What's green and as tall as a 22-story building, she asks. A dinosaur, shouts Elijah. A green skyscraper, guesses Elizabeth. We're going to visit the Statue of Liberty, Mrs. Bolt says. What does liberty mean? Kiara asks. Mrs. Bolt answers. Liberty means freedom. The Statue of Liberty stands in New York Harbor. Smaller copies of the statue stand in cities around the world, from Paris, France, to Buenos Aires, Argentina, to Fargo, North Dakota. We take a ferry to Liberty Island. We meet Ranger Alicia at the flagpole. She teaches visitors about the monument. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from France to the United States, she tells us. It was a symbol of friendship. Workers in France spent nine years building it. A gift? asked Allie. How would you wrap a present that big? Ranger Alicia says workers took the statue apart and put it in 214 boxes. A ship carried the boxes to New York in 1885. We walked to the front of the Statue of Liberty. The statue sits on a huge base. Ranger Alicia calls it a pedestal. A symbol is something that stands for something else. The Statue of Liberty stands for freedom. The pedestal is 154 feet tall. The statue is 151 feet tall. Together, they are 305 feet tall. That's about as long as a football field. We learn that American workers built the base. A woman named Emma Lazarus wrote a poem about the Statue of Liberty, Ranger Alicia says. Her poem inspired thousands of Americans to donate money to buy the pedestal. Then, workers put the statue back together on the base. The Statue of Liberty opened to the visitors in 1886. Inside the Pedestal Next, we go inside the pedestal. It's like a museum. Oh no, says Ella. Did the torch fall down? Ranger Alicia says this is the old torch. Workers put up a new torch. At night, the flame can be seen out at sea from as far as 12 miles away. The green layer is called a patina. It forms when copper mixes with water and changes into a mineral called malachite. She says the new flame is covered in real gold. Light reflects off the shiny surface. We look at a copy of the statue's face. The nose is taller than we are. The Statue of Liberty is made of copper, like a penny, Ranger Alicia tells us. But pennies are brown, says Maria. The statue looks green. Right, says Ranger Alicia. The statue was coppery brown when it was new. Rain, wind, and the sun slowly changed the color to green. The Big Climb Time to go up the stairs. We climbed up 156 steps to the top of the pedestal. My legs are so tired, says Tony. We look up way up inside the statue. You can see the steel frame, points out Ranger Alicia. The frame is kind of like Lady Liberty's bones. It holds her up. Let's go outside. Sculptor Frederick Auguste Bertholdi designed the statue. A man named Gustave Eiffel built the frame. He is famous for building the Eiffel Tower in Paris. I can see New York City, Michael shouts. Ranger Alicia points out Ellis Island. People who sailed to the United States used to stop there first when they arrived. These new Americans sailed past the statue on their way. It was one of the first things they saw, she says. She seemed to be welcoming them to their new home. The statue's full name is Liberty Enlightening the World. People also called it Lady Liberty. Can we go up to the crown? Marcus asks. 
Not this time, says Mrs. Volk. Visitors to the Crown need special tickets. Andrea says, my cousin went up to the Crown. She said she was high as the clouds. Ranger Alicia says there are 377 spiral steps up and down again. We climb back down the steps. Our field trip is almost done. About 3.5 million people visit the Statue of Liberty every year. What do we tell Ranger Alicia? Mrs. Bolt asks. Thank you, Ranger Alicia, we shouted. As we sail away, Mrs. Bolt says, the Statue of Liberty is a symbol of freedom. What does freedom mean to you? Going to the park without my brother, says Sarah. Eating whatever kind of ice cream I want, Tim says. On the way home, we stop for ice cream. We hold up our cones just like Lady Liberty's torch. The Statue of Liberty holds a tablet that reads July IV NDCCLXXVI. This means July 4th, 1776, the date of American independence. Turn pennies green. The Statue of Liberty is made of copper. When it was new, it was the color of a penny. Weather caused its green layer to form over time. You can change pennies to match the Statue of Liberty. What you need, glass or plastic bowl, half cup vinegar, two teaspoons salt, plastic or wooden spoon, several pennies, paper towels. One, mix the vinegar and salt in a bowl with a spoon. Two, put the pennies in the bowl. Let them sit for 10 minutes. Three, use the spoon to take out the pennies. Place them on a paper towel to dry. Four, check the pennies after an hour. The green layer that forms on pennies is called a patina.